the grindiest. <laughs> yeah. Shadowy figure was seen climbing the sacred mountain. Some sort of shambling beast making horrific sounds. <laughs> that is when the troubles began. The volcano has not been active for centuries, but now our homes are being destroyed. The old gods must be angry with us. I fear they won't stop unless those beasts are vanquished. <laughs> unless someone can help us, our town is toast. The path that the mountain is treacherous, though especially now, if you plan to brave it, just please be careful. And I then believe then, it's a yes. I no, think you want to say yes. Well, I know that's a lot to take in. Do you not not want me to say all of that again? Wait, so not I, not or yes. Yeah, it's, it's okay. yeah. No, there, there's a. I remember it being yes because of the way I remember this because the shit Shadow gets Fitter. dumb. Mm -hmm. No, yes makes him repeat it. Mm. Oh, so it was reversed then. Which is kind of annoying because you. So then it was. So then what I was thinking of was reversed. So then. It, That's no. A no. Then yes. Then yes. Then I believe yo. No, I think you can pick either of these because it's any yes and yo. Come on, man. I don't have all day to check. Oh. Yeah. The last one, it doesn't matter. So it's no, yes, <laughs> and then... He says some funny things, which I wasn't... So, with the grindiest timeline, it's an RPG. Oh, but you're on your own. Huh. I was wondering if I would be here for this. Just headbutt basically everything. Uh-huh. This is more for the novelty of it's an RPG and less an actual challenge. Quick but, blink scale level up, which is hilarious. Oh yeah, the quick blink that that that's a back reference to the um the one thing. Just to show off if he does punch. It hits multiple things, but it's weaker. But again, it really does not matter. Ow. You assholes. You assholes. I'm just showing off the, mm, yeah. like, logistics of how... You the basically, you literally have three commands. Dash, a punch, headbutt, and, and heal. heal. But I believe you're also healed in between every battle, so you could have just, just fast punch. I'm just showing off how the... <laughs> Again, like I said, it's like... It's more... It, it's more the novelty of <laughs> we're the funny meme game. Because if I dash punch... That, that would kill all of them. So, again, there's... But, again, the KO head, but it's a lot more powerful, so basically, I believe it one-shots essentially everything. Mm-hmm. Time for antidote. Yeah. <laughs> uh... There's a funny thing, I was playing SMT before this. That just basically yeah. one to two shots most... There's really no reason to do the dash since it's kind of rigged. I almost feel uh, like the dash punch is there as kind of a joke to a bunch of shit being, you know, kind of pointless. However, in this instance... Yeah, well. Because I can basically... I wonder, is the taking more damage, does that carry over to this? I don't know. I'm actually going to kill him and do that. I can tank. Now you can KO headbutt. I can tank like one hit. No, you can tank a few hits. Oh. No, I think she Just is. Just KO headbutt. I've won. I think she is taking more damage. That's kind of insane. That means we literally picked the worst option for this. Patient stat. Suspect boss room. Tactical. <laughs> it really is an RPG as kind of a one off joke, and here's the boss. Mm. What brings you all the way up here? Quiet, Typhoon. Well, great. We love an audience. 
We found this amazing place to jam here. The acoustics are just incredible. Check it out. Because it's the grindiest timeline. Mm -hmm. You look so grumpy. Were you even listening? <laughs> Wait a minute. Where is our skeleton posse? Did you destroy them all? You will never stop our jams. Defend yourself. Also, for those that don't remember, this was a boss in the first game. Only in the extended version. What? Mm -hmm. right. Uh huh. There is one strategic reason to dash punch in this battle. The only purpose of a dash punch is to hit things on the back, basically. So then do the dash punch and then. Why did you use your wheel first? No, I'm gonna heal. Cause that's 40 and third well actually just dash punch again. No. Take a hit. Kill headbutt. Oh. I was wondering if that would work. Yeah. It does. Grind the sideline. Musical instruments, 30 smash, extra extra large poncho, and actual treasure. Mm. <laughs> well, that was the grindiest timeline. It's an RPG. You were amazing. Whoa, he did it. All the skeletons. Peace and quiet at last. Thank you, Luchador. Yeah, it's quiet, isn't it? Almost makes you miss those tunes coming down the mountainside. Ah, uh, guess they w were pretty terrible. Anyway, thank you, hero. Now we can start to rebuild. Now we can pay for it. Yeah, can buy that. Do we want the stamina, or do we... The only reason I would say to buy that is because, like... You know, the, the thing. I can actually get on to the game. I forgot about that diversion. <laughs> Grindiest timeline. Yes. Hey, it got his treasure! Fuck, I hate this. Get on my level, scrub! Because it's been a minute, I'm trying to remember where we at. Well, because we bought the DLC, we could go do that now if you wanted to. Should we go get those characters? The hilarious thing is... D oh, on, actually. Uh, and also, first... Fuck you, game. Now, the... The, like, uh, funniest thing about the... DLC will point out in a minute. First, I, I love this. And then nothing here. Oh, getting multiple angles of that in the different forms for thumbnail potential. So that's really funny. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Okay. No, I was going to point out it should be open. I'm not going to warp, but I wanted to see. Oh no! Wait, damn it! He actually did warp. The the funny thing is, and you would have to look at the map. The area the um DLC is. Located, yeah, the warp actually puts you really far away from it. It's right around the start of this area, which means I believe the town we could just walk there if you want to go do it. So, should we go uh, to the proving grounds? Get the characters, okay, then the just the characters, okay, then remember to bring the lube. It's not one challenge a piece is not that bad. <laughs> ha ha ha! You haven't 
played them. Yeah, I want, I, I, like, yes, it is DLC, so it is 100% you, I, uh, I, you know, you know what you paid for, but at the same time, I kind of, uh, feel like these are a bit of a victim of difficulty creep. Because the El Inferno from the first game was known as being fucking hard, so it feels... Wait. You've proven to be ready for the roofing grounds. Wait. Huh. See if you can prove yourself worthy. Why? It's the stop. Interesting. When I uh, went to do this, it was it wasn't the star background. It was just the normal well, sky. But you never make it. I have business to run. You know. Anyway, this is the movement grounds. These always have come here since ancient times to compete in the lucha arts. The ones who've mastered every challenge got to enter this big old door and meet the god of time. But those lucha doors were way better than you. I'll just have to watch you mess up. Ignore him one, he's all shot and no power. He's got a point though, it's gonna take a lot of work. So if we act in these tests, we get to meet a god. Sounds cool, let's go. So, if you do one it's, challenge apiece... It's incredibly important on what the first one we pick is. I need... Challenge I, I think it, this is the... Defeat all enemies. Bronze, silver, and gold. I think... Uh, the... Yeah, this uh, was the really simple one because it's it uses the um the grass basically for more of its challenge. Should have picked the chicken guy. But it really doesn't matter for this one. Isn't the gold in this? The gold in most of these is basically just you have to play. Well, um, you have to essentially beat most of them for the gold. It's not like time based or anything. I thought we could get one and then one a piece and move on. There is one uh, challenge in like all of them. Where am I? There we go. Wrong. I've learned when you lose track of your, yourself, just do the chicken dash upward. Or jump. Oh, my everything! Ow, shit. Yeah. Again, this one's actually not real. like, there's not much to say, because- We're just grazing in the grass! Ha! Grazing in the grass in Spanish! Well, there's the fart name! <laughs> and by that, I mean riding! Yeah! Google Translate, don't fuck up now. Oh, I meant it. it no, I meant rotting, grazing in the grass. That's why I said Google in, no. uh, Translate, don't I fuck mean, up now. You might have missed my point. No, you, you were, like, saying the title of the video would literally be grazing in the grass in Spanish. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the one thing is the living world or the... That makes a lot more, more sense. More sense, yes. See? I said that one is not that hard. No, well, I just wanted to earn the characters, and then we're gonna GTFO. So now we've got Chicken Man. Mm -hmm. Won't you take me by that hand and lead now, me to the land? Hey, what you... were... Oh, and defeat enemies. Don't fall off the conveyor. Eh, that one's kind of annoying. Wait, there's a there's a sign outside. Don't let the green skeleton die. That one can also. Oh fuck! All the flame faces were annoying. I forgot about that. And then the last one. Not so hot. Come back when all your fury face skill. We can't even play. We can't even play that one. Because we don't have his max tree. What? Hold on. What do we get? The the. So you flat out have. 
So you actually need to max out the skill trees to do their top one. Yeah. So then we, yeah, I guess we need to do one of the other two. Because they're about multiplayer, shouldn't be. Don't let in an, that yes. shouldn't be that bad. I'm cheating. I'm cheap, I know. Well, it, one, I believe there is a point where they do start um having enemies go in the... Damn it. Actually, See? Yeah, actually, uh, it's just stamina regen is faster. That's also another thing. I should probably change characters in a minute. So it seems like the top one you need to max out their skill trees before. Multiplayer makes a few of these idiot crew. Makes some of them easier. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, actually, I should stay around the back of the conveyor belt to serve as a last resort. They, I realize what it is, person. I realized that midway into the murder train. Ha! Now we get to the dumb ones. Oh, you can kill them before- I wish I knew that! You can kill them before they drop! Oh, damn it. Damn it! As long- As long as they stay to this side, it doesn't matter too much. Ah! Now, it should be blue shield. Yeah. Oh, now red. Oh, now red again. I hit him. We win! Yes! That was literally the end! See? Easy! No. A lot. Gotta unkick my ass. You actually achieved the gold medal! Hate to say it, but better stick around here a while. Someone has to keep this tiny success from going to grab. <laughs> like I said, we could easily get the characters and get a move on, and then we'll come back. Booyah. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway, what do you guys think of the Proving Grounds? In my opinion, this area is way harder than El Inferno. The challenges in here can be downright evil at points, and in this very short time, the first few challenges we did were not that bad. However, later challenges in here are the ones I consider downright evil. Even so, it will take a lot of cuts to 100% this area, so... Get ready for that when we finally decide to return to this area later. For now, we're doing the minimum requirements to unlock all the DLC characters. And I don't consider that too challenging. However, I consider the overall area incredibly difficult. Anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments. Or you can leave them on social media. All my social media links, as well as my Discord link, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and leave some comments. If you want to keep up with our videos, hit the subscription button and ring the notification bell. And if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. See you all next time.